Madami nag-aabang ng topic na ito. Ano nga ba ang mga dapat gawin to influence good feng shui sa ating mga bahay? Kaya hindi ko na patatagalin pa, let's talk about feng shui. Before I start, I would like to inform you na hindi po ako feng shui expert. The information I will be sharing here is mostly from the experience I got in designing houses for clients that are very particular with Feng Shui. Meron talagang mga consultants for this na kung tawagin ay Feng Shui Master. And I have had experience in working with some of them in previous projects. Master. Feng Shui or Feng Shui is also known as Chinese Geomancy. It is basically the study of Qi or yung energy na nakapaligid sa atin. Iba ito doon sa video na ginawa ko na tungkol sa mga Pinoy pamahiin. That is mostly about superstitious belief. Ang Feng Shui ay talagang pinag-aralan ng mga Chinese philosophers ng matagal na panahon. It is dictated and influenced by the natural elements surrounding us in our environment. There are believed to be five influential elements in Feng Shui. Pero I won't dwell too much into this because this is more on a personal level. We all have different elements, animal science, date of birth, mga ganun. Sabi nga sa Wikipedia, Feng Shui is considered as pseudo-scientific which consists of statements, beliefs, or practices that claim to be both scientific and factual. So, nasa sa inyo na talaga kung i-apply nyo ito sa inyong mga bahay. Pero kung akong tatanungin nyo, wala namang masama sa pag-apply ng mga tips na nandito. Feng Shui is basically all about enhancing your life by bringing balance in your surroundings, giving you harmony. It all starts sa main door ng inyong bahay. Dapat maaliwalas at malinis ang daanan papasok ng inyong bahay. Panatilihing maayos ang flow papasok ng bahay. Para swabe din ang flow ng good chi or good energy papasok dito. Pagpasok naman sa living room o sala, dapat maayos at malinis din ito. Bilang isang common area, ito ang madalas na tambayan ng mga residente ng bahay. Kaya ito tinawag na living room kasi maraming living things dito. Kaya gawing maaliwalas, maluwag at maliwanag ang area na ito. Malaking bagay sa good feng shui ang liwanag o natural sunlight. The natural sunlight is highly favorable to acquire good chi or good energy. Natural sunlight is also a good source of vitamin D na sa panahon ngayon ay kailangan din natin para malabanan ang mga kalaban. Advantage ang may malaking bintana sa living area para magkaroon ng mas maliwanag na space. Okay lang din maglagay ng mga halaman sa loob to add life and energy in the living room. Just make sure that it doesn't block the natural sunlight. If you have plants inside the house, keep the plants alive kasi dying plants will bring bad energy. Punta naman tayo sa kusina. Ang kitchen o ang kusina is a good source of energy. Kasi dito nga naman nanggagaling ang mga pagkain at sino ba naman na may energy kapag walang kinain. Do not position the sink and stove directly across one another because the water and fire elements facing each other will cancel good energy. If you have an island counter, avoid putting the stove on the island counter. A stove in this area will expose it to surrounding negative forms of chi. Have it placed against a solid wall for stability. Solid wall meaning something that is concrete or something na walang butas or no holes and is also fire resistant. This is also to avoid building up a fire in case of emergency. Iwasan din nakabalagbag ang mga kutsilyo at anumang matatalim na utensils and keep it inside their storage spaces. Itago din ang basurahan para hindi ito naka-expose. Trash bins are considered as bad chi. Basura naman na talaga yan, kaya itago muna muna kasi ayaw mo naman talaga nakakakita ng basura. Diba? Para sa mga banyo, panatilihing nakasarado ang pinto nito. Kasi ang banyo ay considered as a room of bad energy. Labasan din kasi ito ng sama ng loob. Punta naman tayo sa bedroom. Ang bedroom ay considered as another source of energy. Kasi dito tayo nagpapahinga para makabawi sa pagod. Kahit nga yung mga tao may problema o may utang, ito din ang takbuhan para makabawi. Ito tulog na lang. The bedroom has a big effect on our energy. It is for sleeping and resting. And this affects our overall health and vitality. It also has a direct effect on our mood and energy. It makes sense, di ba? 
ipuesto ang headboard against a solid wall. If you position it against a window, it will cause a disrupted sleep. It can affect your work performance and overall health. Mahirap din kasing malamigan ng bumbunan. Alam mo naman sa mga panahon ngayon, mahirap magkasipon o magkasakit. Ang paanan ng kama ay hindi dapat direktang nakatapat sa pintuan, na para bang misto lang nagmamadali kang umexit. Avoid having your mirrors reflect the bed. So iwasan ang mga kwartong maraming salamin. Alam niyo na yan. Try to keep your bed balanced, especially for couples' beds. Dahil uso na din ngayon ang work from home, punta naman tayo sa home office or study area. Avoid your desk facing the walls. Have your chair behind a wall. This puts stable energy behind you which represents the support that you need to advance your career or studies. Dapat magkaroon ka ng direct line of sight sa entrance para makita mo lahat ng dadaan o papasok at hindi ka pwedeng gulatin. Kasi lahat naman tayo ayaw ng gulatan. Ang feng shui sa bahay ay nakafocus naman talaga sa arrangement ng mga spaces at sa orientation ng mga furnitures. Bilang isang arkitekto, para sa akin, practical naman ang karamihan sa mga advice na tinuturo nila dito. Kaya wala namang masamang i-apply ito o sundan ito. Take note that feng shui or feng shui is making the most of what you have and what is already around you. Good vibes is equal to good chi which is also equal to good feng shui. Bad vibes is equal to bad chi which is equal to... So just keep your homes organized and clean. Yung walang kalat at alikabok kasi dust is considered as bad chi. Kasama na din ang mga dumi. Ang ating tahanan ay ang ating palasyo. Sa bahay nag-uumpisa at nagtatapos ang isang araw. Kaya maging maayos tayo dito para sa bawat pagmulat ng ating mga mata, magmumukhang may future. Don't forget to like this video and share it to your friends who are in need of architectural tips, advice, lessons, and know-how. Subscribe to this channel and click on that notification bell icon to keep you updated on my latest posts. This is Architect Carlo and you may follow me on my other social media accounts and I'll see you guys next time. Shout out sa mga avid viewers ng channel, A&E Design Hub, Jinky TV, Girly Border, Van Corris, James Udesco, Miss Jinky Hamulin, Sir Ron Largoza, and Mike DJ. Also to the modular cabinet fabricator, Mr. Jovito Tupaz. Go check out their Facebook page and YouTube channels as well. Muli po, maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong suporta. God bless you all. The information I will be sharing here... There... Sabi sa Wikipedia... Sabi nga sa Wikipedia... Nakailangan natin sa mga pan... Mahirap din kasing malamiga... Fed ba at ang dumi.